menstrual hygiene and what is the details, everything about menstrual hygiene, how you can take care of yourself and all. Oh, and okay. after that, we'll be asking some questions after the enlightenment. We will not waste most of your time so that the sun will not be anywhere. So we want you to pay rap attention. When I mean rap attention, this thing here, I don't want noise making or any form of distraction. So listen attentively because too many of you here, you're already menstruating or about to start menstruating. So this information is very, very important, very, very vital. Don't shy away. Don't feel it's something to be shy about or it's something to say, ah, I don't want to hear. Well, no, all of us, we are big girls. Are we, we are big girls? Yeah. Ah, you're not big girls. Okay, so we, are not we are big girls and so we should not be shy, we should not be you know, like, you no, know, don't talk about it. So we want to listen to what they have to tell us and after that, if you have any question, remember that no question is to be, there is no question that is senseless, but every nonsense will be called senseless. So, you ask your you, if you have anything that is bothering you, you may not even be on menstruation, maybe any other thing, you can meet me or you meet my able to know mommy that is here, she will be here to answer all your questions, tell you what to do. So if you cannot also ask your question, maybe you are shy, just pick your bio and get, get a sheet of paper, write down your question and give it to me. I'll give it to her and she will answer the question. So I want to with you for these few minutes that we have to spend with you, don't throw it away. So many people don't have this opportunity to hear what we want to tell you today. So many people they don't have no noise making. If you make noise, you make me on black like So, so many people don't really have the opportunity to hear what we are telling you today. But you are privileged, you are lucky to hear what we have to say. So listen and tell people. But we have got to have a short drama that we know for you people. And enjoy what things we we'll play, we'll laugh, we'll talk, and we we'll also ask questions. And I pray that this book will be seen in Jesus' name. Amen. They are clapping for me now. Dispose your sanitary hearts. Are you seeing it? This is your disposal of sanitary pads. This part now. They told them are not the same size. In the disposable part, we have the longer one and the shorter. So let me show you. When you finish, this is how it comes open. Are you seeing it? Yes. It's not bound by There's a paper behind it. Gently remove.
So you will need to check the one that is your size. So you don't use the one that is too big for you. Once you're done, once you collect the blood, you pour the blood away and rinse the cup. And use again. So if you have any question, be preparing your questions for me. Right. Do you hear me? Mommy, what's up? And then you get to Where we want to start 
menstruating? Either before or during or after. So I don't know if any of you experienced that when you're you experience headache or which one you experience? Some, uh, so some of the, these are signs, these are what they call premenstrual syndrome. We have the physical signs and we have the emotional signs. The physical signs are the one you experience the physical pain. But the emotional ones are the ones you just feel getting get angry, getting moody for no reason. I don't know if any of you have experienced that you just see yourself getting angry. Nobody's making you angry. You just see, you know, they ask you questions and you're like, what is this? These are emotional symptoms of premenstrual syndrome. And today I'm going to talk to you about your menstrual hygiene as in how to keep yourself clean. Not just when you're menstruating as a girl. I'm sure none of you want to smell. So you need to keep yourself clean and it makes you healthy. Not when you're menstruating because mens is if you stay with it for a long time it smells. So if you don't want that awful smell, what do you do? You change your sanitary pad every four to six hours. But I'm not going to keep it if you have a heavy flow. You don't need to wait for four hours. As soon as your pad is full, what do you do? You change it. But make sure you bathe at least twice every day. Not just when you're Please. I know that sometimes scarcity of water but endeavor to at least bathe twice. And make sure that once you want to change your, your parts, after changing, you wash your hands before you change. And then after changing your parts, you wash your hands. So you, because the woman's body is a very porous nature. It's easy for a woman to contact infection. And some infections, you will not even know until when you want to give birth. Some of them are very silent. You will not know. Then when you get to the age of giving birth, you find out that you're finding it difficult to conceive. You won't know it's as a result of infections that you got and you never treated. Your V part, when you want to wash, when you're bathing, you don't use soap to wash your vagina. So for those of you who are using soap, please stop using soap to wash your vagina. <laughs> don't use ordinary water. The vagina cleanses itself. Because once you're using soap, you know what you're doing? You're reducing the immune system that protects that part. Over time, you find that you're very, very prone. Any, any place you sit, you just you get infected because it cannot protect itself anymore. And once you go to the toilet, you want to clean after pooing. Don't clean like this to the front, please. You clean from here to the back. Don't you ever try because. Any slightest thing you do, you just get infected. And when you have it, for those who have menstrual syndromes, when they, are, when they want to start all during their menstruation, if there are simple exercises you can do to reduce the pain. For instance, like this is a cold water bottle. It's a hot water bottle. For those who don't have it, you boil water, not the one that you cannot dip your hand inside. Get a towel and then just do gentle massage. Massage your tummy gradually. As you massage it, the pain reduces. Massage your waist and then do simple exercises, you know, where you are straight. Stay off sugar. Carbonated drink. Those of you like taking minerals, when you, you know, people are not a lot of I take minerals a lot too. But like those of you who have such pain, stay away from minerals. If you take lots of sugar, it will make you go through more pain when you're about to menstruate. So a few weeks to when you're about to menstruate, stay up. I hope I'm making myself clear. And I also want to ask, how many of you know how to count your cycle? Your menstrual cycle. I'm sure they would have talked through that in your classes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Okay, so I'm asking how many of you know how to count your menstrual cycle? On the first day. Oh, you will have to do it. Because you've not started teaching it here, you've not started menstruating that as well. Your menstrual cycle is the interval to which your menstrual is So how many of you can count for me? You, you've not learned that. 
Are you understanding me? And then get this word to be five. What this word means represent these five days represent your five days of your menses. I want somebody, what best is woman? Excuse. Summarize what you just saw down. Okay, give me another one. You are the one at the front. Quickly, quickly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? 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 Don't be shy. Don't be shy. As as beautiful girls, you're not supposed to you're supposed to carry yourself with pride and with no elegance. So don't be shy. Come out and speak before they are. So what did you just see? What did you just Thank you very much. So from what we watched, from what we saw, we saw that the girl was staying and she was so much shy and they gave her hand girl to cover herself. And her friends, they didn't know what if that girl from the drama, they didn't even tell the girl how to use the salary body. Maybe that's the first time or not, they just gave her take. Just, okay, maybe she knew how to use the shark and she collected it. So, from the drama, we see that menstruation is for all females. As a girl, you must menstruate. If not, if not, and as much as you give belt, when, you, when you be, in the future you give birth to children, you must menstruate. So, don't say, ah, no, me, I will not menstruate, though. Or it's not for me, oh, it's for everybody. And we should not be shy about it. We should not be scared. Don't think that maybe you are cursed or it's a disease. No. It's something to be proud of. It's something to be happy about. Because if you are menstruating, it shows that in the future you'll be able to give birth to your own child. Just make your parents give birth to you. Your mom give birth to you. So we should not be shy. And another thing, another thing you can learn from the video is from the what you watched is that when you know that you are on your pure, for those that are already seen their messes, always be guided, always be watchful. Like, don't be careless and feel that uh, she one part to reach me for money tonight. No! People are already shouting Jesus to see. So, don't think that one part will be enough and you don't know when you'll be staying. You don't know if you have heavy flow. Like, we also explain to you when we want to start talking now. So, always make sure that you are with more than one part in your bag. So, with this, we want to go now to the main talk. I want you to pick out your barrels, your pen, your students. You want to have a pen and viral, pen or viral and your food. So, write down little things that you will learn from the video. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, yes, because you will ask questions no? and you will ask me questions. So, let's welcome our mommy as she comes to give us our talk. We are clapping for her. I hope you know that the girl child is the, the, the power bank of all nations. Yes. Without the woman, there is no world. So celebrate yourself. Give your props to your woman. So my name is Christabel Silver John. I am the national program coordinator from Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation. What did I say? So, Real Hope Empowerment Foundation is a non-governmental organization that is being funded by selfless Nigerians who believe in what we do. What do we do as an organization? We go round about in different schools where we talk about menstrual hygiene management, we empower kids. Like for instance, I'm sure if you go out, you will see some of the children who are working. Not all children are in school. They are not in school, not because they don't want to be in school, but some of them financial constraints from their parents, they are not able to be in school. 
like when I came over, I heard your principal say that I'm going to drive some children back home for non-payment of school. So you can understand that the times are really hard. Some parents are going through difficult times. So what we do is to bridge the gap. Those we can support financially to be in school do that. We also encourage women to be independent by empowering the women. Because when a woman is empowered, you have empowered an entire nation. But when you empower one boy, you have just empowered one person. Because for every woman you empower, she tries to go back home and make her home a better place. She also, whatever she has learned, she transfers the same thing to her own kids, making it a national thing. It doesn't stop with her. But most times we know that men don't really have time for their homes. When you, all of us are all coming from a home, most times when we have issues we want to talk with, we talk with our mothers. Am I lying? No. no. Most of us feel comfortable to talk with our mom. That's to tell them the first teacher, the first person we ever talk to when we have issues are women. So today we have come to talk about menstrual hygiene management. I don't know if any of you, all of you have men, are you all menstruating? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. So those who are not menstruating, you cannot raise your hand. I can see her. If you have not started menstruating, let me see your hand. Do you know what menstruation is? Are you sure? Yes. Nobody has told you about menstruation before. Not in your house. Your parents have never spoken about menstruation. You see, that is one of the important things that every parent must make sure that even before the child starts menstruating, that the child is aware of what menstruation is. I have two lovely daughters. Before the first one started menstruating, even the smaller one. When the bigger one started her menstruation, you know, the small one I came at home, said, Mom, that's what you should tell us about. I did her start menstruating. Because this is the only one. So when did they start to come back and shop to them? When I told them my I was in the form. I couldn't even tell my parents I was afraid. I was like, what is happening to me? I wasn't confident. I was not bold enough to come to tell my mom I'm menstruating. Oh, until they saw this thing because I couldn't manage it. I didn't know what to do. That was where my mom now called me. And the first person who bought me my sanitary pad was my father. So like what we do, we encourage the boys too to be part of menstrual hygiene management because they all have sisters at home. They have one day they will get married and they will have children. So they also need that information. So I want someone to tell me what menstruation is so that those who don't know about it can know. Of a 